you weren't here last week, and I want to hear your take. What are your thoughts of the Clippers blowing a 3-1 lead? Beautiful. It's what we all expect and what we all <laughs> hope to happen. We, it's what they do. The Clippers <laughs> always choke. And it's shit, like Magic Johnson said uh, perfectly. He was talking about it on Twitter, fucking that they're locked in. They're always going to be the little sister of LA, and they're always going to choke. And, <laughs> You're going uh, back to the basement? Yeah, Kawhi needed a little recharge on his batteries. The robot, huh? <laughs> yeah, Remember, he just robot. needed a quick recharge. Something was wrong with his batteries. The load management wasn't enough all mm-hmm. season long. And then the COVID, that wasn't enough for Paul George, obviously, to get healthy and both it's, of them to get healthy. But The chemistry wasn't there. Damn, dude. It's because it that just like, that just goes to LeBron's leadership. That just like if you think about it, as a head coach, as yeah. a head coach, bro, and you know GM, I mean? the way and he, GM, yes. he's honestly, uh, you know, he's, he deserves a lot of awards that he didn't get, including MVP. Um, but that that goes back to what we were saying about how like they should change the awards too. Yep, like they need to have a, a play like a, a playoff award separate from the regular season, especially because this year. Since the pandemic happened, and then the the bubble happened, and then the playoffs happened, yeah, so much happened in between. People forgot. You forget, like yeah. but towards the end, LeBron was taking a lot of the MVP votage from Giannis, and the and fact we were the hottest team before COVID happened. Yeah, we were definitely the hottest team. We beat the Clippers. We had the best record. We were on a roll, and like pl- the regular season doesn't always translate to the playoffs, you know, especially when you go uh, on the road or. It's it's a lot of teams don't take it as serious. Mike, can you make a conversion from one team to another, like right here? Like right you can't root for you can't root for both at Clippers and Lakers. They're, it's like uh, they're. Are you each are you other. like the basketball priest and you're trying to yeah, convert absolutely. me? To yeah. <laughs> absolutely, we're I'm, both no, trying to I'm convert LA, you now. Yeah, the LA. There can only be one team in LA. All right, so right now I already told you this season I'm staying Lakers all the way through, man. I said okay, that. Okay, what about next season? You're going to, like, change? Like, no, no. I, I, I'm going to root for whatever team is best. I wanted them what? to win for Kobe. All right, Michael, can you at you least mean? admit that LeBron is a better head coach and GM than Doc Rivers? That's facts, bro. All right. Doc, you obviously, you're slowly dude, converting then. Dude, you I mean, can't. There's no way you could just root for the Clippers and then still have, like, an interest in the Lakers because there's, like, they're uh, completely against each other. I think, I think, like. Right? Don't. All right, like, if the Clippers win a championship, let's just pretend. Does that hurt the Lakers brand or does that help the Lakers brand? Which it, one? It definitely hurts, but it helps the city either way. So for not me, not exactly. I don't think so. Because how many LA people are actually Clippers fans? You'd be surprised, there's, like, man. There's really not. They, it's they, a lot of transplants. I have a theory of, of Clipper fans. Go ahead. Clipper fans are either old Laker fans from back when we were still Laker fans when they had like Xavier Henry, Robert Sacre, uh-huh. those teams. They converted. Like, I can't watch this anymore. Clippers, CP3, Blake Griffin converted over there. Yeah, that's true. And then once they switch. choked, they slowly became Warrior fans. And the Warriors yeah. got KD. They were like, uh, well, those I got to jump off that bandwagon. Those aren't Clippers. <laughs> we those got Kawhi your- and Paul George. We're going back to the Clippers. Those are just bandwagoners, though. I'm I'm consistently on my L.A. teams, bro. I just rap my city. Uh, it's, just, it's their oxymorons, though, base, or like some shit like that. Michael, will you be joining us in the virtual parade? Hell yeah. Are you going with this to Staples Center? Hell yeah. Dude, All that right. means it's for life, though. You, yeah. can't, you can't ever put on a Clippers. Because you can't think about it. You can't tell your that. kids, like, hey, I went to a Clippers parade. What if the Clippers win next year? What if? The They're Lakers not, are going to win. Well, I'm just saying, you still can't. You don't want to go to that. There's going to be yeah. people booing them and throwing tomatoes. Unless you're going to throw tomatoes at them. I'm going to catch the tomatoes, and then I'm going to chop them up, put them in a salad because I'm on a diet. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. If, they, if the Clippers ever had a parade in L.A., it would just be people lining up on the streets with tomatoes mm-hmm. and nah. just throwing it at them. Nah. At <laughs> and, and Paul George. Hey, Clipper lives matter. I can promise you Clipper that. lives matter, man. <laughs> Clipper lives matter. What the hell? Oh, no. Stop <laughs> it, Mike. Stop it. Nah. Uh, I definitely – I don't think they're going to win next year. Zach, do you think the, the Clippers need to change their roster up? After this, um, I'm hoping they're gonna keep Paul George because he's the hometown turd. <laughs> like we like to say Honestly, about man. him. Yeah, he's been playing like. I mean, who knows, man? If he's healthy, <laughs> he, Kumar, uh, fucking <laughs> the, child in the basement, the Cyclops baby. <laughs> so, what's his contract like? If can they even trade I, him? Does he I have think, a pretty big contract? I think no, next year he has an opt out clause. I think it's him which, and Kawhi have one. Him and Kawhi really? can both opt out. So if, if they wow. don't do shit next year, like I wouldn't be surprised if they like what the hell they leave. I just love how he denied. Playing with LeBron. He said, I'm going to play with you, Westbrook, here mm-hmm. in OKC in the middle of fucking tumbleweed nowhere, bro. <laughs> I'm going to stay out here with you, Westbrook, Westbrook, and I'll let you take all the shots in clutch time in the playoffs. Like, uh, instead of going with LeBron, 
LeBron just wants to feed you and make you an MVP, pretty much. He wants you to, like, he's leading the league in assists. He led the league in assists. Paul George don't do that pressure, bro. It's like, mm-hmm. He's pandemic P, bro. He, he, <laughs> I mean, like, he, but I might get close to the finals. Is that what you're saying? He was, like, worried about that. He's like, I, I might choke. Bro, he, I yeah. think he's yeah. allergic to the finals, to be honest, yeah. bro. Like, so I he's like, agree. as soon as he gets too close, like he starts to sneeze and, and play off pressure. Like, it'll cause him like to choke, that. you know? <laughs> but I like that. It's yeah. a natural reaction. Yeah, playoff pressure now. Damn. He can't handle the pressure. pressure. Playoff yeah, P, playoff. pandemic P, way off P. 